So I'm going to show you how to load a 35 millimeter film into an SLR. Okay, the SLR we're using today is a Nikon FM2. And um, before we start, remember to make a note of what ISO film you're using. The reason for that is because if you forget after you've loaded the what ISO film it is, after you've loaded the camera, you cannot open the camera back up to check what ISO it is. Okay, so make sure you know what ISO film it is. All right, so. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open the back. Okay, so that's the back where the film goes. You need to open that back up. Um, to do so, that's the rewind knob there. You need to pull that up so that the back will open. Okay, so just underneath the rewind knob, there's a little lever that you can pull towards you and pull the rewind knob up. Once it's up, you need to pull it a little bit further. It'll be sprung loaded, so there'll be a little bit of tension. So what you need to do is just pull it ever so slightly further up and the back will just open like this. All right, so let's have a look inside. So the film goes in here and that's where your spool is. Okay, so let's have a, when you put the film in, uh, the tapered end of the film will go to the bottom of the camera. Okay, so when it sits in the camera, it should look like this, where the tapered end is at the bottom of the camera. Okay, so if the film is not going in like it is right now, that's because the rewind knob is too far down. So you just need to pull it up and pull it further up and the film will just slot into place. Okay, so remember the tapered end is at the bottom of the camera. Okay, um, so the spool is on the other side, so which is just over here. And that will rotate counterclockwise. Okay, and the spool you'll notice will have slots where the film will need to go into. So slots there and again over here as well, okay. So to get your film ready, um, push the rewind knob back down so that the film sits in place and is locked into place with that and it's not going to fall off. Pull enough film out so it reaches the spool on the other side of the camera. Okay. Once it reaches the other side of the camera, what you want to do is put the film into the spool, okay, one of the slots in the spool, and then just rotate the spool so that it, the spool will catch it, okay? What you wanna do is rotate the spool enough so that you can see the back of the film come all the way around on itself and rotate around the spool, okay? Once that's ready, so once you can see the back of the film like that, what you wanna do is close the film back, sorry, the camera back, okay? Close the camera back, and when you close it, you wanna hear for that, click okay so if you don't hear that click your camera back is not closed and it's not light tight which means your film will get ruined if you advance it all right so make sure you hear that click all right so once you're here your shot counter should be on s at the moment okay so what you need to do is just advance use the advance lever here to just advance to number one okay so take a shot advance take a shot advance until you reach number one okay so once you've reached the shot one you're ready to go that's your camera loaded uh and ready to shoot take your 36 shots and i will show you how to unload your camera so take the film out of the camera in the next video